Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, this is Making It Happen with Mary and I am Mary. Today I'm feeling springy, a little spring in my step, baby. I want to talk about a floral scent, but it is not what you think it is, baby. And you know what we're going to talk about? We are going to holla for a minute about white jasmine. Yep, white jasmine. She was just brought back for SAS right before SAS started. She was like right in there in the store. And I scoured my collection because I swore to God I had this scent. Turns out I didn't. So I'm glad I picked her back up because I was like, I know this scent. But I'm pleased to say this one smells different, but in a good way. Because what I remember white jasmine smelling like, it was very jasmine heavy. It was a heavier floral. This bottle smells different. Scent notes are creamy white jasmine, apple blossom, and white cedar wood. Yeah, I really like this. I know I've said it a few times, but I am all about the warmer weather scents, and spring evokes like the comings of summer, and this is like spring in a bottle. It is a beautiful jasmine scent, but you definitely can detect the apple blossom in there as well as like this cedary woody note and it's gorgeous. If you're a floral lover, you probably will like this. If you're not a floral lover, you may still like this. Do not let the name scare you. Don't let it scare you because it's different. It is not so floral heavy that there's no other scents in there playing around. I mean, like I said, the jasmine is detectable, but it's pretty jasmine. It's not overly like, bam, in your face, flower petal, bitch, bam. It's not like that. It's not. It has this deeper warmth to it that comes from the cedar wood, but yet there's a slight sweetness from the apple blossom, so it is a nice mix of a scent when it comes to a floral. So if you're not a traditional floral lover, please at least go sniff it. Go sniff it before you make any judgment. Don't just go by the name. Yes, she's pretty. It's, it's a very sexy floral. I will say that. The comparisons. Because I know that's what y'all come here for. And I say it every once in a while, but damn it, I know that's why you come here. Y'all... I was tripping. I was shook because I actually saw on TikTok, it was on TikTok, an individual that said it was very, very similar. They didn't say identical, but they said very similar to Underwater Oasis. What? <laughs> Scent notes on Underwater Oasis is sparkling bergamot, jasmine, and blue musk. So we got jasmine and jasmine, right? No, no, no. That's what I feel like saying. No. This is so marine aquatic in comparison to this. Like even, yes, honey, they have the same jasmine note, but the jasmine that's in it and how it plays and comes across is completely different. I said it before in a few of my videos, Underwater Oasis, is, I believe, was very underrated. Very beautiful, aquatic, marine scent. Gorgeous scent. Really evokes, like, I can just see blue water. Like, honest to God, and it's gorgeous. The bergamot comes across well. The musk comes across well. White jasmine is Floral. This is marine, aquatic. It's like comparing apples to potatoes. The fuck? I can't sometimes. I'm just like, huh? This one that I saw, I, I did have to pause and be like, hmm, let me go back and sniff. Because I could see some similarities, but it wasn't a lot. And it was butterfly. Of all scents, butterfly. Butterfly. Scent notes are raspberry nectar, iris petals, and airy vanilla. The similarities 
that I do understand is that it's a more complex floral type of a scent, but that's where it ends. In comparison, this is much sweeter than white jasmine. Yeah, white jasmine has a deeper woody quality about it, and butterfly just doesn't. They say vanilla, but it's in the background with butterfly. It's not up front and center. And they also say raspberry nectar. However, that raspberry is kind of like a tart raspberry, and it's kind of hidden and muted. It's not, I think if they would have done the raspberry a little bit heavier in this scent, it would have been beautiful. The iris is really well done, though, in here. Iris is a harder note to get done right in certain perfumes. But they did do it right in here. And I, I'll tell you something. Butterfly was another one that I initially was not a fan of. Kind of reminds me of how I my take on Jolly Gingerbread Village. Because initially I only ended up getting like minis of them. And that's what I did with Butterfly initially. I only got her in a mini. And then when I used her up, I was kicking the shit out of myself for having not gotten a full size for my collection. Because I do think this is another one of those scents that initially... I thought was kind of like they played it safe, but it is a pretty scent. It is pretty. It's very kind of like airy and, and pretty for, for springtime slash early summer. It is a nice floral, but it has sweetness about it. The white jasmine just does not have it. No, this is much deeper in comparison to butterfly. Absolutely, 100%. Y'all, when I saw this comparison here on YouTube, at first I had to laugh. And, and like, I legit started cackling when I saw this. Because, yeah, yeah. It was beautiful day. Yep. Beautiful day. What? Scent notes on Beautiful Day is sun-kissed apples, sparkling cassis, wild daisies, pink peony, and fresh woods. Okay, we got some floral and woody in there. Okay, okay. Oh, you heard something about an apple in here, and there's apple, floral, and woody in here. No, no, honey, no. The apple in here is, like, much heavier than what's in White Jasmine. There is a floral component in there, but to me, the first thing that slaps the shit out of you is that apple note. That is warmed up with the fresh woods and the floral, but... <laughs> no. If anything, I feel like Beautiful Day is kind of like a summertime version of Champagne, Apple, and Honey from the fall. It is like a summer-spring version of that. I will say this packaging was freaking gorgeous. Yeah, I when I remember when I first fell in love with Beautiful Day. And I want to say it was like 2018. It was an older packaging. It had like the blue sky in the background and the apple, like an apple tree on it. And I fell in love with it, like straight fell in love with it. I remember for like a month and a half straight... I had the, the body cream next to my bed, and I would put it on every single night. I fell in love with it, like straight fell in love with it. And although I still have a love and appreciation for her, she's not one I reach for as often. But again, my y'all, I bet if I actually did an entire, like my entire Bath & Body Works collection video, first of all, I know a lot of you assholes out there would call me a hoarder. But second of all... <laughs> I'm not a hoarder, baby. I am a collector. And collectors collect things, okay? Okay. And uh, not only that, but considering that I do this now with YouTube, I kind of need those in there to review and compare for y'all. How the hell am I going to compare a scent I've never owned to something that's brand new? You know what I mean? So, but I am thinking about doing an entire Bath & Body Works collection video. My God, that would be massive. Like, massive. Massive. Um, I, I don't even want to wager to guess how many cents are in my collection now. Like, it's in the hundreds. Like, hundreds, hundreds. 
yeah. But we won't get it. We'll get into that when I actually do the video. But yeah, beautiful day. She's still a gorgeous scent. She still is a loved scent in my collection. I just don't reach for her as much as I used to. But in comparison to this, they are on different ends of the spectrum. This is lighter and brighter, and the apple is much more pronounced. Yeah, as opposed to white jasmine. Like, no, no, no. Yeah, and there is definitely a muskier, woody note in white jasmine that's not detectable to that extent in Beautiful Day. That's what I think about that. The last one I did see, which I really had to stop and think about it because it had been a while since I smelled this scent. I had to dig through my spring collection to find this Motro. And uh, yeah, I said Motro. Sometimes I'll say that instead of Mutta Trucka. Uh, Motro, this Motro. Uh, Cloud Nine. Cloud Nine. Scent notes on Cloud Nine are Lavender Breeze, Morning Dew Drops, and Cozy Amber. No, the floral that's in white jasmine is a distinct floral note. Whereas cloud nine, thankfully the lavender is not heavy lavender. Because if it had been, I would probably really not like this scent. I don't like scents that are heavy lavender, especially that like dried like hanging from a dried out, hanging from a, a incense shop type of lavender. I don't like that. So thankfully the lavender is in here, is in the background. It's almost indetectable to my nose, which is a good thing. What I do get in here is fresher notes mixed with the amber. The amber is not a super warm amber either. It's almost like a cool amber. It um, gives it depth without making it warm, if, if that makes sense to you at all. I mean, I almost want to say there are other floral notes in Cloud Nine, and it's not really lavender. It's something else. It's something, and I can't put my finger on it, but it is a decent scent. It's not the best scent they've come out with. It's... It was a safe scent. It was a safe scent. And the longevity on this was shit, might I add. I've only, as you can see, I don't really use her that often. I mean, she almost brand new full. Because um, literally you'd have to reapply like a lot, a lot. Yeah, White Jasmine, again, in comparison to Cloud Nine, has a deeper warmth to it that you don't get that in here. And again, in comparison, this smells much stronger than Cloud Nine. I mean, a lot of people did like Cloud Nine. You do you, boo. You do you do you. It was not one of my favorites. It was not one of my favorites. But yeah, that is my thoughts and comparison and review on White Jasmine. Did you pick her up? Do you think she smells different from the last time they put her out? I think she does. I think she is not as jasmine heavy, which is a good thing. Uh, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are on this, and, and if you picked her up or not, definitely leave me a comment. Y'all know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, and ding the bell so you'll learn every single time your girl uploads. And I will catch you in the next one. All right, you guys. Bye-bye.